Two callback on the XRP service PBX will enable your call center to have place reservation function, which means when a caller is waiting in your queue, rather than holding the call till an agent becomes available and answer it, the caller will be given the option to actually save his or her place in the queue, then hand up the call. When there's an available agent, the p service PBX will automatically call back to the mentioned caller and connect to the agent. It will significantly enhance the service quality and answer rate of your call center. In this video, we will explain how to set up the queue callback on Yaystar p service PBX. First of all, please make sure that you have upgraded your p service PBX to 37.6.0.46 or higher. Then let's get into the administrator interface. In Call Features, find Queue. Here we have a list of all existed queues. We can click Edit on any of them to enable Queue Callback for this queue, or click Edit to create a new queue from scratch. In this video, we'll use an existed queue as an example. When getting to the Queue Edit page, click on Preferences, scroll down, and we will find Callback. Here we support two methods for the caller to activate function. The first is triggered by caller input. In this mode, we can set a digit as the switch. When the caller dial this digit in the queue, the queue callback will be turned on. The digit is 1 by default, but we can change it. Then we can set up the outbound prefix according to the outbound route with which we realize the callback. Please make sure that all agents in this queue have permission to use this outbound route if we choose this mode. We should inform the caller about their option to reserve a place. So, we can also record a prompt and upload it to the PBX and use it as an announcement in the queue. To do that, we can keep scrolling down in this page. We have Join Announcement and Periodic Announcement. We can choose the recorded prompt in either one of them so that the prompt will be played and callers waiting in the queue will know about this option. If you need to know how to record a prompt, Find the link in the description to go to the article from Yaystar Help Center that explains how to record and upload a prompt. Of course, if we want the queue callback function to be triggered automatically after timeout, we can make our choice in the queue callback method, and then we can set up the timeout duration. After this, we configure the prefix as well. When everything's down, click on Save and Apply. All right. So that was all for enabling Q callback function on Yaystar P Service PBX. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And need more details about P Service system? Visit yaystar.com and subscribe our channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.